Imagine having it all, money, fame, fans, and still watching it all slip away faster than you can say, I'm the only one here working. I'm the only one here working! Yep, we're talking about Jack Doherty, and if you thought his YouTube career was on fire, well, you're right. But not in the way he's hoping. This guy's world is crumbling, and it's happening right in front of our eyes. Grab your popcorn, because this is one wild ride you don't want to miss. Let's rewind a little. Jack Doherty skyrocketed to fame at an age when most of us were just trying to survive high school. A million subscribers before graduation? That's insane. But with great power comes questionable decision making. Jack turned his clout into a money making machine, signing young girls onto disastrous OnlyFans contracts. And guess what? He kept most of the profits for himself starting with his first girlfriend and now his current one who, oh yeah, just happens to be dating another big streamer, Neon Sam Frank. Yep, this story's already messy and we're just getting started. Jack didn't stop there. He used his YouTube fame to funnel viewers, mostly kids by the way, to these girls' pages. Then, using that cash, he bought houses, exotic cars, and created content that's, well, Let's just say, bottom tier doesn't even cover it. And here's the kicker. The kids, they love it. Uh, that one was 400K. This one was 250K. That one was 350K. That Bentley I got for free. Yeah, I don't know about you, but flexing like that doesn't age well. And here's where it all starts falling apart. Remember that Halloween party live stream from last year? The one where Jack got into a fight with two guys who looked like they just walked out of a joke shop? Well, after hyping up his bodyguard to handle it, things escalated quickly. His bodyguard sucker punched one of the guys on camera and now Jack's being sued. But that's not even the craziest part. You'd think with all the money Jack claims to have, he'd handle the lawsuit with ease, right? Nope. Instead, he tried to use his renter's insurance to pay for it. Yes, you heard that right. Renter's insurance for a brawl that happened in LA when Jack lives in Florida. Unsurprisingly, State Farm wasn't too pleased. They turned around and sued him back. Jack might look like he's living large, but two lawsuits at once, things are not looking good for him. Now Jack's always been about flaunting his wealth, whether it's dropping $241,000 on his credit card in two weeks or renting a $55,000 a month house. But it seems like the lifestyle is catching up to him and fast. In fact, Jack's been crumbling under the pressure lately, as we saw on a recent live stream from a cruise. What should have been a dream vacation turned into a full-blown meltdown. Okay, I'm the only one here working! I'm the only one here working! Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I do! Because I have bills every month! I have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars every fucking month, and it's fucking stressful! Jack, my guy, you built this empire of excess, and now you're drowning in it. You might have been flexing hard on your audience before, but now it's all starting to unravel. And if you thought that was the worst of it, you'd be wrong. Jack recently announced that he just bought land for a new house, for $4 million. But here's the twist, he has to knock the house down to build his own. What does that mean for his bank account? Jack's own words. Okay guys, so I recently just bought this house right here and the lot of land next door for $4 million. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock down this house and then build my dream house over here and then a warehouse over there and then a guest house back there. But first, I gotta spend over $70,000 just to clear the trees that are right there. And that's just on one of the properties, not even counting the lot of land next door. Wow from a $4 million purchase to $500 in the bank and two lawsuits hanging over his head. Jack's not just in hot water, he's in boiling lava at this point. And if all this wasn't enough to stress him out, Jack decided to drop a little truth bomb on his girlfriend during one of his live streams. He straight up told her that the only reason she's with him is because of his social media fame. Why you're probably with me in the first place. Why if you social media you wouldn't even have gave me the attention. So it's hundred percent true. Yikes. That's a tough pill to swallow, and it just goes to show how much Jack's been spiraling. He's built this image, this empire, but deep down he knows it's all crumbling. And with his money running dry, 
it seems like he's losing control of everything, including his personal relationships. So where does Jack Doherty go from here? Lawsuits, financial stress, relationship drama. This guy's juggling more problems than a circus clown. It's only a matter of time before the cracks we're seeing now turn into a full-on collapse. And honestly, it seems like he knows it. Now, I want to hear from you. Is Jack's downfall inevitable? Or do you think he'll find a way to bounce back? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on this saga, don't forget to like and subscribe.